Hi folks, this is Jen White from OpenSource.com bringing you the top five articles from this week, August 22nd. Every week I tally the numbers and listen to the buzz to bring you the best of last week's open source news and stories on the site. At number five, a Raspberry Pi powered juggly performance, Lauren Etz High School Open Source Wiz accepts a challenge from professional juggler Charles Peachop to light up his performance. And of course, she'll be using her Raspberry Pi to do it. See how in this fun read. At number four, Practice Makes Perfect, How Tech Events Make Women Feel Welcome. Gina Likens works on the Open Source and Standards team at Red Hat. In this article, she shares with us what it was like to be a woman in open source at a big tech conference this year. Side note, I went to OzCon too, had a great time. I totally related with Gina's perspective, and I really felt like there was a welcoming and high-spirited vibe going on. Um, particularly Leslie Hawthorne's keynote on privilege, Pernilla Lynn's session on what it's like to be a community manager for Neo4j, and OzCon's conference diversity statement as well as their code of conduct uh, really reflected that spirit to me. You can find those links in the article. All right, on to number three, using Clocker in Apache Brooklyn to build a Docker cloud. Jason Baker, OpenSource.com's resident OpenStack expert, learned about Clocker in a meetup this week. It's a tool designed for spinning up a cloud out of Docker containers that many hope will help alleviate the challenge in getting containerized applications deployed and managed across real and virtual hardware. On to Docker. Number two is A Beginner's Guide to Docker by Vincent Batts, a senior software engineer at Red Hat. He gives readers a course in Docker, Docker 101. You'll want to read this one, then follow it away and use it again later. After covering the basics and history of Docker, Vincent dives into the difference between images and containers. Then users get a walkthrough of how to get started with Docker on their machines. Finally, at number one, why the operating system matters in a containerized world. Gordon Half writes, quote, in fact, because the operating system provides the framework and support for all the containers sitting above it, it plays an even greater role than in the case of hardware server virtualization where that host was a hypervisor, end quote. His insight hit big with readers this week. You'll want to read the full article on opensource.com, but in short, the rise of containers does not spell the end of the importance of the operating system in application infrastructure. Thanks, everyone. Join us next week. See you then.